Christmas really is my favourite time of the year. A chance to hang out with the friends and family you really love. Lots to look forward to. Good times, fantastic presents, and of course, some great food. For that, I've got a delicious roast chicken recipe. I'll tell you what, it's easy Christmas, just what you're after. This year, I've taken my inspiration from the traditional Christmas colours, red, green, and white. For that, I've got some cherry pistachios and a little bit of onion, and it's a fantastic combination. Now, for the chicken, you want to start off with the stuffing. And for that, you want a little bit of finely diced bacon and a small amount of extra virgin olive oil. Pop it into a pan over a moderate heat, and you fry that until it's good and crunchy. And it is really important to have some courage when you're frying the bacon. You see, the more colour you get here, the more flavour your stuffing is going to have. So when it's good and brown and crunchy, just like this, you're going to throw in a little bit of finely diced white onion and some garlic. Oh, be brave about the garlic too. Four cloves, fantastic. Wow, bacon, onions, garlic. That smells great any day of the year, but especially at Christmas. Now, once it has softened, we're going to transfer that into a bowl. Then we just need a couple more ingredients to finish off our stuffing. Two cups of whole grain breadcrumbs. Now you could use the regular ones, but whole grain ones are better for you, low GI. Consider it your excuse for more Christmas dessert. Pop them in there along with some chopped parsley and pistachios for your Christmas green. And for that Christmas red, one of my favourite ingredients that I look forward to all year long, cherries. It's one of the best things about going and getting your ingredients from your local Stockland shopping centre. They've got the best fruit to choose from. You need about a cup's worth of cherries, with the pits removed, of course. Pop them in there. Oh, and one egg, just to bind it all together. And it comes together just like this. Using a spoon, you want to pop that into the cavity of your chicken. Then secure it in place with a bamboo skewer and tie the legs together with a small piece of kitchen string. With the chicken nicely trussed, it's time to season and my best suggestion is celery salt. It tastes way better than regular salt and pepper, plus a little bit of olive oil. And to bake, make sure you pop a rack into your roasting pan. This raises up the chicken so it goes crispy on the skin all the way around, plus it reduces the cooking time so your chicken is really juicy and moist. You want to start at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. That'll get the skin nice and crispy. Then drop the temperature down to 180 for about another hour or so. That way it'll be really well browned and the juices will run clear, pierce them at the hip. That's how you know it's cooked. Doesn't that look fantastic? I know at Christmas everyone wants to talk turkey, but really, this simple Christmas roast chicken is brilliant, it's so tasty. Your family is going to love it. But you'll need to make sure you get your shopping list together because what's on the list, you'll find at your local Stockland shopping centre. And add some garden fresh veggies as well for the complete Christmas meal. While you're here at easychristmas.com.au, take a look around because there's a load more great Christmas recipes to discover from all of us at Stockland. Have a safe, happy, festive and delicious Christmas.